sneaky links back. There you go. We're back with Ubuntu, and we're going to get it multimedia ready. Because remember, no multimedia stuff comes with it really. There's no flash or anything. So we quickly pop over Synaptic. I'm actually doing this because you may not know what to do. A lot of you will do. Some won't. So if I type in flash, let's have a look. And there's our flash installer. Now you normally just click that if you just want to do installs flash on its own. But I actually didn't do that. I thought, if we're going to use it properly and test this machine properly, we'll see what we can break. So I went straight to the restricted extras. You can see my slow typing. In it goes. Hit the enter button and there we go. And I went for the Ubuntu restricted extras. And it didn't seem to break anything so far that I know of. Bear in mind, do remember, you can't play rental or bought DVDs unless you've got a libdvd CSS2 file, which you can find somewhere. I can't tell you for legal reasons. But yeah, if you know what to do, you find that. There's plenty of how-tos on the web, no worries. So anyway, we'll try out our Flash. Does it work? I don't like the new YouTube, do you? Bloody horrible. Don't like the new layout, but hey, I'll have to get used to it. As you can see, colours are nice. Looks nice. Oh, that's only 480, but hey. Should we try it full screen first, though, before we go? Let's about the full screen. Ain't too bad at all, really. I can't really complain at that. Bear in mind, this one's an onboard graphics card on this particular machine I'm using on. So, yeah, that works fine. Now, what else would we want to do, basically? Oh, by the way, did you like the picture? Found them on the web, some nice Ubuntu ones. Just type in Ubuntu, you'll find plenty and plenty of desktops. So, we're going to have a word, because you're going to be using this as your main processor, really, aren't you? That normally comes with loads of stuff, but there are extras you're going to need. So we'll go back to Synaptic. Yeah, and I'm going to bore some of you doing this, because you say, oh, yeah, I know how to do that. But you may not know what extras it comes with and not. So, chuck in every word, as you can see, both main packages are there. We want the grammar plugin, basically, for spell checking. Now, as you can see, as we go down, there's lots and lots of stuff to be upgraded as well. Not only Go Office, but G Numeric, etc., etc. So, what we're going to do, we're going to apply that for that package and go from there. There we go, look, 14 megs I'm going to have. Now, I'm going to cut the video here because it got a bit boring to say the least. I don't want you to wait too long, otherwise, the video gets too long, you don't know what to do, do you? So, anyway, we've nearly done all our files. Here we go, look, zoom, zoom, zoom. To make it more interesting, if you're really bored and like watching paint, you can watch all the bits go along. As we go, look. <sighs> I'm getting bored now. Okay, here we go. We're nearly in there. We're finished. Oh yeah. We can now basically close that. Snapped it. That's this little reboot thingy. There we go. We go down straight back to Abbey Word, which is in our office section. Open it up. Now I'm going to type in some misspells here, basically. That's all I'm going to do, just to show you that we've actually installed it, and it works. There you go. You can actually set it to auto-correct if you want to, but you don't have to. I think it's only loaded with the US dictionary at the moment. You can get a UK dictionary for it. Not a prob. That works. So we come out of that, and we'll go to our next little piece. There's only a minute or two to go now. Right, so we've got that, that, all that stuff working. Yeah. For movie editing, we've got OpenShot, which I installed. Now, woe and be told, as you'll find out in the next video, this is where all the problems started to come with Lubuntu. And also, somebody asked me all about KDN Live. So, I'll just chuck it over to Synaptic. Now, bear in mind, if you're going to have Lubuntu, would you really want KDN Live as well? I would say no on that one, because you're not doing it for that, unless you've got a really new system and you want to put KDN Live on it. Uh, that's not what Ubuntu is for, is it, at the end of the day? But we'll come back to that in our next video. But as you can see, Caden Live is about 110 meg download. Big old download. So think about it before you do it. But you'll come and see all them problems when we come back in the next video. And we'll see what went wrong. Sneaky links out. See you later.